Hey everybody, this is Ju Su Kim, Matchmaker Team at HomeSmart. Today I have a Valley Stream writer and a historian here. May we ask his name? Bill Florio. I know you wrote a book. Yeah, I um, I wrote the Images of America Valley Stream book for Arcadia Press. I also wrote the Images of America around Elmont and Rosedale book, but let's talk about Valley Stream. <laughs> How long did it take for you to write that book? Uh, it took about a year uh, to do to collect all the photos for it, to collect the research, to do the research, to collect the information, and then to write it, put it together, and get it all and get it all done. Um, about a year. Okay. And what was the most interesting fact you found that you'd like to share? So. Um, in the 1920s, there were a lot of what we call roadhouses in Valley Street. And these were basically jazz nightclubs that were all up and down, really from El uh, Roselle all the way to Freeport. But in Valley Street, there are two major ones. There was Hoffman's, which was the northwest corner of Central Merrick, and the Pavilion, which was on the south side of Merrick Road by Terrace. Um, numerous famous jazz bands played these clubs during the 20s, during the jazz age. Benny Goodman. Um, I, 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 oh, Glenn Miller, etc. Um, during the Prohibition, obviously, they were serving illegal alcohol uh, and they got raided numerous times. There were also other big uh, roadhouses and nightclubs in Valley Stream. There was the Lamplighter, which was one of the first integrated nightclubs in Long Island, probably the first. Uh, there was the Birdcage, which was a drag club, which was on Merrick Road, and numerous other things. And this tradition, even after these clubs were gone, continued into the 50s and the 60s with places like Carl Hopple's Park Inn and Goldie's, where on a night in the 50s, you can go to Carl Hopple's and see a young comedian named Don Rickles, and then go to Goldie's and see a young singer from Queens Village and Anthony Di Benedetto perform. He would later, of course, become Tony Bennett. Oh my God, that is so cool. Wow, so how many, so if people buy your book, they can see, they can read all these. Yeah. That is so amazing. So how many copies did you sell? Somewhere over a thousand, let's say. Okay. Um, the, uh, I sold them in Arcadia and they're on Amazon, etc. Right. So if, can people still buy a book on Amazon? Yes, it's on Amazon, it's in Barnes and Noble. Um, you can probably find it in other places as well. I have a few copies as well if you wanted to buy them off me. But yeah, the Amazon, Barnes and Noble are the- Can you tell us the name of the book one more time? It's Images of America, colon, Valley Stream by Bill Florio. It's got that sepia tone cover. Ah, uh, that's awesome. Thank you so much for the interview. No problem, thank you.